This is a cool thing from Korg. This is the Monotron analog ribbon synthesizer. So they took uh, parts of the MKS-20, I think, the filter, and an oscillator, and a ribbon controller, and let you do kind of crazy funky stuff with it. So for $59, it's a bit of a bargain. But what's really interesting about it is, if you take it apart, I'm going to remove the four screws. Uh, you can take off the, the front panel, remove the speaker. Um, they actually have labeled, I don't know if you can see that, on the back, if I can let's remove the batteries. They've actually labeled the test points. Let me see. Um, so they've actually labeled bias, cutoff, gate, pitch, uh, VCO. Uh, there's a bunch of test points on here, so you can hook up your own stuff to it. Uh, so this is just crying out to be hacked, really, which is what we're going to do now. Okay, so I went ahead and added some wires to the uh, various test points. And reading from left to right, we've got cutoff, VCO, LFO, rate, uh, bias, gate, pitch, and ground. Um, there was also a power connector, but I'm not going to wire that up because I'm going to continue to use batteries. But we're going to test these points now and see what kind of information we can get from them. Um, so I hooked up to the pitch pin, and I wasn't able to get any kind of a reading out of that. But the gate pin uh, seems to have much more uh, stuff going on there. Um, it seems to be kind of off at a voltage level of 1.4 volts, and then if I play it, you can see it rises up to about 5. So in theory, pumping the same signal in should give you control over the gate and pitch, which if you link that to a microprocessor, you can, use, you can build a MIDI interface um, or do anything with it really. And then back to 1.4. Uh, the next one is rate, which is the LED, the uh, light up knob. Uh, by turning that, um, has a very narrow range of about half a volt. Um, so that seems to affect the LFO rate. So again, I would think that putting the same signal in would allow you to control that. The LFO pin gives you the actual LFO waveform, so you can see that here. Um, again, this seems to operate around 1 volt, um, maybe 2 volts above ground. And VCO output shows you the actual output waveform, which is kind of a sawtooth kind of affair. So we've got access to that. And so far that seems to be all the signals that I can get. The other pins don't appear to do anything, but of course you can access any of the functions by tapping the central pin of each potentiometer. Uh, so here the cutoff, I can sweep that and I could feed a signal and it seems to operate over a uh, 5 volt range. So um, yeah, I mean, I can feed in the output from a DAC to any of these and control just about anything. This is the, okay, that's interesting, the, the bias or the, the resonance is a very, very small range. Wow, that's like about a fraction of a volt. Yeah, they all have independent ranges, uh, but very controllable. Pitch. Oh, that's all over the place, yeah. Good stuff.